Hey guys, what's up? It's me. I know it has been a while, so sorry. <laughs> um, I've been busy with school and things keep getting blocked and I still don't know the new whole like thing for releasing reactions. But all that aside is the Ruby Volume 6 trailer. So this was released on Twitter, I'm not wearing a watch, three hours ago. Uh, but I had just gotten out of class and I had to get food and I had to go to a meeting and but I'm here and I'm excited to see what there is to get out of this actually. Um, not that I'm never not excited to hear about Ruby honestly, but just from like the little sneak uh, peek gif that they put up on Twitter, it looks really really good. So I'm really excited. I didn't see it. It was a gif. I didn't hear anything, but I'm ready to see this. I know nothing about the trailer, so I'm just... Ooh. Mm-hmm. Uh, red like roses. It's important not to lose sight. What is on your, your bike? Oh, it's a dude. Also, Rip bringing a bike out in the snow. <gasps> Why is it a scarf? Justice. Oh shit. Reverence. Of course. You don't the seem like Adam. You put your desires before my own. You die. They will be lost to you. This isn't a yeah, bitch. This is simply the truth. <laughs> Fucking rip. Hey, my girl. Who are you? Also, I don't care about you. Why were you yelling at Osman? Whomst? Whomst? <gasps> What's the plan, Ruby? I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I thought it was the 26th. Oh well. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping that she would uh, say what she said in volume two. Just like, we're stopping this train. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna watch that again because I just, I gotta. God, those are some cool character designs. I... Oh. Salem monologue part two. Or I guess like part eight at this point. It's important not to lose okay, so sight of what drives. She's not tied up. She's just like there. Love. <laughs> Happy justice. Reverence. Also, this is gonna sound really shitty, but I'm really glad that there's actually not that much on in this trailer. <laughs> the moment you put your desires before my own, you get hecked up. They will be lost to you. So she cut his face and has regrets. This is simply the truth. Baby sees his first grim. Ruby does a whoosh. Team attacks are back. Okay, who was that? Oh, shut up. What did you do? Oscar, what did you do? Team attack! I am very happy about the team attacks being back. We're stopping this train. Ugh. Yee, I'm glad to see Team Ruby back together. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna awkwardly scrub through it now because I can. Okay, silently though. So I think this character, I actually remember seeing something on i think it was monty's family about like an etsy thing for like digital glasses that he was looking at for concept ideas so i guess that's the character that's mentioned i want to know who that is because it doesn't look like adam but they can fly so i'm guessing they got wings but their clothes weren't necessarily moving like they have wings so i don't know if that's the case there but they're definitely not like being lowered from a plane like they're, they're not like sitting on a ledge of something going down so she cut him yeah, so let's see. So she cut him, so I'm guessing he said something about Cinder that was like, Eh, well, she was a weak bitch anyway, and Emerald lost it because hashtag gay fury. And she's so boned. He's back, probably with a tail. Oh, uh, they gotta go to Atlas, which is probably why Weiss was like, well, I just left there. But I mean, it's more, it's definitely more of like, um, a teasing one than that, but I feel like she's probably gonna bring up that point. Also, God, the, 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 the crowds keep getting better. Every volume of the crowds get better and better and better and better, and I'm so proud. And even the characters look so much better than they did last volume, and I'm so glad. And just, I love these girls. I love these girls, and that's a lot of death. I don't remember, we don't really see blood that frequently in Ruby, so, you know, yeet. Um, we got fucking him. And that's a black screen. Her. Him being him. I'm surprised he didn't go all purpley eyes there. Also, he got Jojo eyebrows a little bit. So, the man- what was that the Manticore? I know they talked about that at RTX. 
And I wish I could frame through like you can on YouTube. Okay, so the wings. I think that might. No, it's not. Yep, it is a manticore. You can see it in the one in the back. Yeet. Okay. Um. Who was that idle bystander? Because she, li I like that one, that one. She is a cutie patootie and I like her and I would wear that outfit all the time. Catch me cosplaying random bystander RTX 2019. <laughs> but she's cute and I love her. Uh, wait, for a second I thought that there was black. Also this, what they keep doing for, the, for her semblance is just getting better and better every season. Also, who was that? Who was that? Not you. Nora! Ruby, you're awesome. I wanna know who that is. Also, wow, hello, you are a babe. You are a babe and I love you. Who are you? She like, she almost has like a pirate vibe, but like it very, this whole area has a very mistral, mistrally? Mistral feel to it between the architecture and her general like demeanor, I guess. But who was in the hood? Who was in the hood? Where is my mouse? Because that, I don't think that was Oscar. It wasn't quite the right color. That is a nice frame. I want to know who animated that shot. Also, props to Comp for doing snow, because snow is a bitch. So if they have to do a lot of the volume in snow, I am so sorry. But yeah, that doesn't look like it's... That doesn't look like it's Oscar's coat, so that's definitely someone new. And it gets pulled off her belt, which I remember being bigger than it's shown here, but okay. Oh, also having the gun, the gun ch -ch was a nice touch. Nice touch, very appreciate. Uh, oh, her suitcase. I want those two to have a moment. And I've talked about this on videos before. If you saw me at RTX, I talked about this a lot, but they talk about on the director commentary for volume two about the um, burning the candle, how Yang has that conversation with Blake about how she needs to slow down because she's burning out and that she needs to do it for people who care about her of nothing else and i that they m mentioned having a parallel to that so i'm hoping that that'll be this season i'm really hoping that that's the season um also they have real bunk beds i didn't realize that until right now they have real ass bunk beds i can't believe weiss actually isn't gonna die via bunk bed anymore Ugh. and then we got the fish cl fist clench meme of course yang's pissed Emerald, what did you do? I feel like that's Salem being like, you dumb fucking ho, Cinder ain't dead. And she's like, oh shit, he's being a whiny baby because things are going right. Okay, what does he do here? What does he do here? Because this is what has me the most concerned. Because Yang's about to punch his ass. Blake's ready to draw on him. Weiss has that very much, like, I should have known. Like, she, she is in, like, her about to draw stance, her very formal, I am a schnee kind of positioning where she could whoop his ass. Um... And Ruby just looks hurt, and the way that she's holding the relic makes me think he does something that is borderline betrayal, almost. I don't know if it's like some Harry Potter shit, where like... Just like Harry could see into Voldemort's mind, like... Salem, like, he can see into Salem's mind and vice versa, I don't fucking know, but... He does something that's not good, and he's like, wait, no, you misunderstood, but that's... There's definitely gonna be a major betrayal of trust. Thanks, Train, I'm totally not recording or anything. But that's not good. Who are you? I want to know who she is. Because she seems cool. And I'm digging the design. Rip. Just in general. Fucking modeling those goggles must have been hell. One, how are they staying on her face? Two, we finally get elderly characters in this show who actually look elderly. I'm very excited about that. Also, I just realized that none of the characters in Ruby have, like, ear holes, I guess. I mean, I can take these off. I'm not listening to music and listen to the audio anymore. But none of them have, like, like, if you look in an ear, like, you got, like, a hole. They don't got- I, like, I remember the stylized thing, I just didn't realize it, I guess? But, I wanna- she's clearly important if, like, she's important for something. And they're all running. Team attacks! Team attacks! I live for this shit. I'm gonna go frame by frame. Yep, there's the magic again. Okay. Oh god, that looks so cool. I'm very excited for that. I'm glad that they took, like, a fan design and built off of what they already had. And there's my girl, Mora. Uh, just yeet your local girlfriend. And back with the team attacks. I'm so happy that we get to see Team Ruby's attacks again because we got Ice Flower. Because we see her do that with Nora. And like that was the closest thing that Team Ranger ever really did with team attacks. Um, so I'm very happy that they're going to be able to do these again. Because they've all improved so much in their fighting. So imagining like taking their team attacks and partnering that with like Weiss's summoning. Imagine how fucking baller that would be. Because that would be awesome. 
Uh, he scream. He scream. It looks like it's the same scene. So something bad happens. I'm guessing she can like worm into his mind. I don't know. She kills someone there. I'm pretty sure. Can Miles tweeted something about killing your darlings. Weiss looks so unamused in this must frame. <laughs> She's just like Ugh, this shit again. But get on the trains. I'm a slut for train scenes, so I can't even be mad. Ugh. It looks good. I am excited. I thought it was the 26th, but I guess I... Th no, that's a Friday. I'm thinking of a career fair thing I have to go to. But I love these kids, and I missed these kids. And I want to know who said old lady is. And Oscar, why are you doing like that? Uh, oh my god, there's a detail on Weiss's fucking thing I didn't notice. I'm going to have to go frame by frame through this. Like, there's not really any fight stuff yet. Um, which is what I really, really go frame by frame for. But I love... They're all fucking dead. Who's being worshipped? I'm guessing it's like a really powerful Thonis or someone else who has maiden powers. Shit, was that Watts? Were those his fucking pants? I don't know his his concept art and his character art that well because I haven't cosplayed him. But those look almost like his... No, but the way that they're gathering at the bottom, it's almost more like sweatpants, although not as extreme. So I don't think it's him, but... That definitely like, looks like a familiar design, I think, but I don't know. <sighs> Salem, you're being a bitch, you're being a bitch. Look at these bitches, look at this awesome team of cool kids. Also, I'm hope like, I know that they're leaving Mistral. I'm still hoping that they can maybe get an interaction with Aniko's family, because that would be nice to go over. I know it's not going to happen. But also, there's a chance for more development, hopefully, because, like, if Team Ruby's all together... Because, like, they went from being Team Juniper and Team Ruby to Team Ranger and now all of Team Ruby's back and three members of Team Juniper are back. So either Oscar will join them or it'll be that very awkward like there's this whole team. Oh, they're still they're clearly having issues there. Um but I feel like they're all going to have to learn to fight as like one giant team of seven uh on top of reestablishing those old team bonds. I'm kind of hoping that we can get some stuff with Ren and Laura cuz again, I was kind of disappointed with uh Longs 4 and 5 that they didn't really go into how they felt in regards to what happened in volume three. Cause like, I've said, I know I've said this a lot. I know I probably sound like a broken record, but like Nora and Ren lost their families. In Ren's case, it was right in front of him. In Nora's case, it was probably similar. And they finally get a home. And like home is definitely something very important to them. It's very, it's a very tricky concept. And they definitely don't put their faith in a place as home very easily. And I'm cur and like they did that at Beacon, and then to have it destroyed, and to lose someone that they adopted as their family when adoptive family is so important to them, to have it not really explored was honestly really a bummer. And I was a little bit disappointed with some of the writing, honestly, in the past couple volumes, like last volume, like when when Weiss talked to Yang, like I enjoyed hearing that backstory from Weiss, and like she did have a point, but at the same time she did kind of invalidate all of Yang's feelings about being abandoned by Blake. Which, like, she is completely valid to feel that way. And, like, Blake is valid for her reasoning as well. But I feel like if there had just been a line of voice being like, hey, you know, this is, like, she feels like this. And it's like, yeah, it's like, but it, she feels, she, that's why she did this. That being said, your feelings are valid. Like, that would have been, like, all it really needed. And I'm kind of, I know I've said this before and I've said this a lot. And I get, I keep, I get yelled at it in the comments every single time. I'm not a fan of Jean, honestly. I feel like his character has developed, but not necessarily fast enough, or it- his character to me kind of feels like- like, I know that this show started out with taking characters that were very much on the surface tropes, and then going into them more. It was like, oh yeah, Yang's not just a bimbo, like, Blake isn't just mysterious and edgy, but like- like, I know that it was about that, but it feels like to me, Jean has only kind of continued to go into his trope of like, He's essentially, he's a little bit of a Mary Sue, honestly, where, like, he's just, like, I don't know, like, there's always, there's not really a good way to, a good way to phrase it, I guess, but I'm just not the biggest fan of him. I just, it feels like he hasn't really done much to deserve where he is, if that makes sense. But, um, and, like, I feel like they focus on him a little bit too much, especially with, like, volumes four and five. Like, there was a lot of focus on Jean, and it's like, hey... The show's called Ruby. I realize that they're separated, but the show's called Ruby. It's probably a problem that no one's favorite character is Ruby. <laughs> like, that's, that's kind of an issue, honestly. And I remember I was kind of bitter when the Volume 6 poster came out. He's like, it looked gorgeous. It looked gorgeous. But Oscar and Ozpin were in the middle. 
And it's like, yeah, the show's called Ruby. May maybe have the main girls be the main focus. Radical idea. Crazy concept, I know. But I'm excited for this season. I know some things that are gonna happen, and I'm excited. And also, the poster gave away one of the things that was gonna be like a, I think was supposed to be like a big surprise of the season. Like it's right there. Her silhouette is right there, and it's like, listen. <laughs> but I want to know what happens that causes all those shady glances back at Oscar, who's trailing in the back. And I'm excited to see these girls again. And honestly, just huge shout out to Kirby because with every single volume, like they keep improving. And like that's been the case since volume one, but it's really been the case since like they switched over to Maya, um, cause like, honestly, Maya's a much better program than Bulger, I'm sorry. Um, but like, there's just so much, you, so much more you can do. And I know that Kruby is working incredibly hard and they have such an amazing group of people who are working on it. And like, it's just, it looks great. And it looks like it's improving. Like the comp team is making leaps and bounds every single volume that is just remarkable. And the amount of models that they're having to do for crowds and everything, like the animation itself still looks gorgeous like huge shout out to mel for uh, mel melanie stern for being the new assistant lead on ruby that is awesome but just like there's so much effort put into the show and like it's really nice to be able to see it like grow and change and evolve as it goes on if that makes sense but yeah i'm i'm excited i'm hoping i'll be able to stay more or less on top of ruby although it's honestly hard to be sure because i'm busy with my own animation because I came in my junior year of college and spend 13 hours a day in the animation building if not more so if there's ever a video that's late or there's not a video for a while that is why because I'm busy doing animation-y things because my junior year that's when you start working on your big senior film that's when you work on like the, the film that you make from scratch so I'm a little bit busy, but this I'm not dead. This channel's not dead. If there's a, ever not a video for a while, it's because my backlog of stuff got blocked. I haven't had time to stream because I've been doing homework or I haven't been able to record because I'm doing homework. But that being said, thank you guys so much for just showing up and watching these videos. And I'm already getting excited for RTX 2019. You want to see 2018 and I'm like, no, that was already, that already happened. Oopsies. But I will see you guys on the 27th, I guess, which is just in nine days. Yoinks. <laughs>